Soon after this minister claimed the killer was calling him, the body of Curtis Walker was discovered not far from the minister's church. Officials wondered then about the killers responding to publicity, and they are still wondering. On March 12th, for instance, the guardian angels arrived with much hoopla to protect the city. The next day, Timothy Hill was missing. On April 2nd, the press was taken on a first-time-ever tour of the task force headquarters. Two days later, police were looking for Larry Rogers. Yesterday, there was much press coverage of the cases. Channel 2 News reported missing persons had a rare day with no children who fit the victim's profile. Mayor Jackson in Washington, D.C., was saying how effective the curfew has been. We believe that is some indication that the killer or killers feels this tremendous lid we have on the city, tremendous amount of protection for our children. And there has been much news coverage of how authorities are carefully watching places where bodies could be dumped into rivers, because that's where the last four bodies were found. Then today, a 17-year-old victim fitting the profile found on land. Still, authorities would not comment on the possibility of response to publicity. But publicity or not, FBI Special Agent John Glover did have one theory about the killer. I just don't know. If given the situation of the last 21 months, I just don't see the person stopping now. Why would he stop now? Hank Phillippe, Action News.